The earth is a desert, and I float as a grain of sand on its barren dunes. Once, in November, the road ahead bent sideways, and I lurched within my seat, flying as a bird through the crackling candy glass, until I lay crumpled on the empty road like a sugar cookie with sprinkles in my hair. I basked in the glow of the headlights, keeping my body warm as my eyes rolled back, unseeing toward the starless sky. One second, I was full of every feeling, thought, and dream, and then then I lay there on the ground, a husk of human life, with lips parted as if to speak, with so much love left unspoken. What will become of me? Someone asks. I turn and realize I'm looking down upon myself. The voice I heard from someplace else was uttered by my own lips. I turn a pallid hand before my face and wonder at my silver skin, and then I turn away from me, growing cold beneath the sky, and walk my way back to where I know, leaving life and death in my wake. I forget there was a question. I lose sight of a response. As a glowing wash and buzz of light blurs past my tired eyes, I find myself sitting on the stoop of my very lived-in house. Strangers pass through back and forth. I watch the seasons change, but as I compare myself to them, I think, who am I now? Not a woman, nor a single life, but something else like that. I'm a wanderer within these walls, a lost orb like a speck of dust, that should be my name. If you ask me with a Ouija board, if someone's here right now, I'll say, no, I'm something else like that. A fragment of a human life, a fading memory. My worlds become an artifact as paint begins to peel. I lose a layer of myself, which deep down, perhaps, I fear. Maybe if I were somehow right, I wouldn't have stayed here after light. A good person gives and asks no more, and though I once could give, now I only wait and sit, an uninvited guest on my very front step, and I ask for just one thing. See me. See me. See me. Don't be afraid of the cobwebs in the attic. It's beneath them where they left me. My remains of the mortal world, my paintings and my clothes, the letters I had written in the candle at its low, the light that burned me if I touched my hand with all its blood. See me in my photographs. See me as I blushed. And when you see me, don't forget, a ghost can be a lot of things, but most times it's a wish. I wished I could stay home that day, and as it was, I did. But the day unwound to a light year of sound, and now I wish to be seen.